Hey, I'm Tommy from Free Field Training. Today we're gonna to address a question that I've gotten a lot from people since I did the video about Safe Life Defense's flexible rifle armor solution, their FRAS. And that is, people are saying, is it worth it for me to go with the new FRAS over getting the level 3A with rifle plates front and back? So we're gonna go over the differences and similarities between these two and some things you should probably think about before you jump into either of these systems. To start out with, the FRAS is a little bit lighter than level 3A armor with two level 4 in conjunction with plates. So the, the level 3A armor with plates, front and back, in size large, is about 19 pounds, and the FRAS in the exact same size is about 16 pounds. So what you get with the FRAS is a lot more coverage area because the 16 pounds is spread out over the entirety of the area of the internal plate. It just happens to be flexible. Whereas with the level 3A armor, with the in conjunction with plates front and back, you only get the area, the 10 by 12 area with a little bit of cutout for your arms that this covers. So it's just covering this. You don't get side protection at all with this, whereas this covers the entire area. This in front of a level 3A vest will stop 30-06 AP. So those very high level individual weapon rounds we also shot this again, 762 by 54 r Stop that, no problem as well. But you have to wear the plate in front of the level 3A vest in order to achieve that with this. And you only get that level of protection from this area. And then all of the other area of your body that's covered with the soft armor is the level 3A. So that's your 44 mag, uh, 357 SIG, your most common 9 millimeter rounds, and 40 and pretty much everything else that's a handgun round that's currently commonly available on the market. Now the FRAS doesn't protect against 30-06 AP, but it does protect against all of the 223 and 556 five, rounds that are common on the street. So you've got M193, uh, M855, 55 grain ball, the stuff that your common criminal will pick up from the big box store, and then soft point 223s, the type of stuff that a lot of us in law enforcement are using as duty rounds so that we don't get lots and lots of barrier penetration. The other thing to think about is uniforming. Very often departments don't want their guys wearing back plates or they don't want them wearing front plates because people can see the plate through. If you're using something like a uniform carrier, it's easy to see the plate through the uniform carrier and people think it looks too militaristic, it looks too aggressive. With the FRAS, this just looks like normal soft armor when you wear it. It conceals better. Now, no soft armor is gonna be perfectly concealable. You're not concealing either of these rifle protection systems underneath a t-shirt. But if you throw a light jacket or a hoodie on, this has a better chance of sticking out because it's further away from your body and you've got outlines of plates on the front potentially than this, which is all one uniform thickness, one uniform density throughout the entire protection area. You're wearing your rifle protection front and back and you're wearing it all the time. You're not throwing a plate in the front in an emergency when you're hopping out of the car and picking your rifle up, and you're not taking time when you're going to your trunk or you're going to the rack to get your rifle to throw a plate carrier with these plates in it over your chest and then snapping them on. This, you don't have to worry about it. If you're hopping on the car on a hot call and you're grabbing that rifle or shotgun or whatever long gun the department allows you to use, you hit the button, you grab the rifle, you've already got your rifle protection on you against all the most common things out on the street. And finally, there's the cost perspective of this. Your level 3A armor with plates is going to be cheaper. Level 3A with plates, if you buy it all together, is about $837, whereas the FRAS is about $1,600. It's a little under $1,600. There's a couple options with that. You can buy, even if $837 is way out of your price range, you can buy just the soft armor and then add a front plate and then add a back plate later and you break up those purchases over time. Or you can buy the FRAS all at once at $15.99 or there's payment plan options. And the payment plan options change all the time, but currently you can break these up into four equal payments over a time period. So at the end of the day, you have to balance out your budget what you can pay monthly or what you can pay up front with the realistic threats that you're gonna see on the street and the realities of your job. If you're in a situation where you're facing rifle threats, but they're mostly gonna be 556, 223, or maybe 762 by 39, 30 carbine and pistols, 
Frass can be a really great option, give you lots of peace of mind, lots of coverage that you can wear all the time without having to put an extra thing on. If you're worried about very high level protection, so things like 30-06 AP in your area, rifle plates are gonna be the, still the way to go because this is how you get up to those high armor piercing rifle protection levels. And if you still only are worried about pistol threats, then the soft armor is definitely the way you're gonna to wanna to go. It's the cheapest and easiest way to get into armor that's gonna protect you against the common threats that you see on the street. So if you wanna see all of this stuff shot, you can come to my channel, it's free field training over on YouTube. Also follow me over on Instagram, Tommy underscore free field training. And I've got lots of shots of this stuff being shot out in the world with real guns, not laboratory testing. If you're interested in laboratory testing, go to the links to the description down below where they're gonna have the lab test results that show you back face deformation marks for both of these armors. The back face deformation for FRAS, according to the lab testing and according to our independent testing, by throwing it up on a board and seeing how big of a dent you get in the board from it, shows that the FRAS actually does a little less back face deformation. You're less likely to feel this as much as just shooting the level 3A with a nine millimeter round. So it's pretty interesting new technology. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments below. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other.